I'd like to ask you a very important question. Are you settling in your setback? It could be a setback of dating. It could be a setback of divorce. It could be a setback of your love relationship in some way, shape, or form where you are not moving forward and you are not actually claiming what is amiss in your situation and what can be fixed. And this is what happens to many of us in dating, relating, marriages, and then even after marriage, if a marriage ends in divorce, settling in our setback. What do I mean by that? When we have a setback, a very serious setback of any kind, it can even be in business. We lose the job of our dreams. We worked years and years to take the bar and don't pass it for the third time. What have you. What's the feeling? The feeling is, I want to give up. I can't do this. There is something about me. And I have to say that working with people as a social worker and as a coach, I can tell you that very few people, if they don't just settle for their setback, most will move on. And you can. What I do find, however, is that even for those that move on, it takes them a very long time. And what I think is not at all useful for women in their romantic lives is to take very long. Here's what happens, a typical scenario. You may have been dating for years and years. You've had long-term, short-term, all manner of relationships that had you on the roller coaster, the high, the low, the let go, the heartbreak, and the high again, and the let go, or the, the no high and just meeting somebody, eh, doing, you know, along, going along with him, and then let going of that. I mean, all manner, if you are at all past the age of 30, you have had a lot. And you feel like the setbacks are actually part of you. Almost that they've actually become you in a way. I am my setbacks. And this is deep in your psyche more than you may want to admit and it's something I want you to seriously look at because think about when you were very young think children children are open because they have not had the setbacks of adults and it takes them years and years and as they go through school and and they get older they start to have more and more setbacks but foundationally, at the beginning of their lives, they tend to have a lot of wins. Think about a, a toddler. And right before they started to walk, they're crawling. And they succeed in the crawling. And one day they really got the crawling down and then you see them over there and they've pushed themselves up onto a chair and they're standing. Another win. And then they stand more. And then they walk. And then each day comes a new success rather than a setback. Generally speaking, this is a child's life. It is filled with challenges, yes, but not the setbacks. That the older we become, the more experiences we've had, and the more things we go towards, go for, and want, the greater number of setbacks we will have. And in dating for women, in dating men, we can have many, many setbacks because of foundational principles that I talk about here on YouTube all the time of 
we didn't realize that we had to be a worthy opponent. We didn't know about Freud's Madonna Whore and having to be in the right category in order to go all the way through commitment. Yes, we can be loved in the second category, but we will not be taken seriously for a full commitment. And then finding a man who is a buyer, not a consumer, as I talk about in my book, Why Won't He Commit? How a Man Decides to Make You the One. These foundational principles that you must understand that will have been part of your setbacks, no doubt. But are you settling in your setbacks? Settling in your setbacks is saying, I am my setbacks. Not that those setbacks happen to me and I can make a clearly different choice today, right now. I can make a different choice right now to have a different dating experience, life experience, relationship experience, love experience, anything really that we want. The first and foremost thing that happens is we have to reset our thinking, go back before the setbacks and clear our mind of the setbacks, know that our setbacks are not us and then do things differently so we do not have the same setbacks. Because what happens for most women, and I have found this throughout working with the women for the years all across the world that I have, they find a similar man and expect that they will not have a setback. It doesn't work very well. But also, more importantly, because many men are similar, it's what we do with the men once we start out, and I mean from the very get-go, that has that man, whether he's similar intrinsically or not, changing in a very small way and subtle way to accommodate in a much easier way so that a relationship can go the distance. Because it is what you do as being the mechanic of a relationship to actually set your GPS to be on the right road to success and then having whatever man join you that you like, regardless of him being similar or not similar or what have you, and then doing what is proper and most useful to do that will help him stay on that road to the eventual proposal and marriage that the GPS system creates. And it's value-based. It's actually subtle. It's coming out of the, the foundational principles of being feminine uh, against his um, masculine. It's, it's very simple and it's foundational. Our society has just gotten us away from it. So we do tend to have many more setbacks because of the societal things around us that we fall into, that the men fall into, that, and we have to be steadfast in what we know and clearing our mind of past setbacks along with doing things in a fashion that sets us on the wrong, uh, right course rather than the wrong course. It is a game changer. You have to make that decision if you're watching this. Make the decision today. I am no longer going to be held back by my former setbacks. They're done, they're gone. They were needed, so incredibly needed to get you here. And so you can say, thank you. You gave me these experiences so that I can know right now I am in the right place, listening to the right thing to let go of my setbacks so I can get on the right course. And one of those right courses might be one of my courses. But you need to do something. If it's a course in dating, then get into it. Because if you haven't had success online, I know that you've had setbacks. 
but you need to do things in a way that my seven step one love online to never ending love approach will have you doing in no time at all. You can even get it in a low price self help course, which heretofore has not been available and it will never be available at such a low rate to you. And along with it, your own seven step complete course that gives you everything, self help. You get started immediately when you click yes and it's in your inbox. But at any time during the lifetime of you having that course, you can do a one on one four hour coaching intensive with me and get all your questions answered. That's doing something different. That's saying, I'm not going to live in my setbacks. If you haven't been online because, or on or offline because it's just been too difficult, there's a reason. And that reason most likely has to do with how you are doing it, not the men. Not at all. Men are men, and they will be there, and they will be doing their thing. It's what we do as the women that leads the man through the online interaction to the right things that set him up in the right way to have him desiring to achieve your time and attention. Your time in terms of a phone call to talk to you, to introduce himself prior to meeting you. You think, oh my gosh, how could that happen? I have an easy breezy way that happens for all of my clients. It's a game changer. Then the next step, meeting him. And the meeting has been set up in a much better way for success and for him to want to achieve you. Because without that deep desire in him, you are settling in your setbacks. Because it's the same. He must have that desire and that comes from doing things differently to ramp up his desire, his need to achieve once he meets you and his desire to meet you and his making that meeting happen. It's huge. Again, game changer. And if you are divorced and settling in the setback of divorce and say, I I'm devastated by my divorce. I don't know. I've spent 20 years. How could I possibly know what to do? How could I possibly be at an age where I could get something else? That is a mindset that will keep you in your setback and not at all useful or even probable because I know I have worked with so many, many divorced women who have gotten online and are successfully dating. And in my online programs, I offer another strategy for getting back out there, especially when COVID is over, getting back out there and doing things in real life because it's, it's all part of the approach of letting go of your setback. You just don't want to settle in that setback. And if you're settling for a relationship that is not serving your purpose, you don't have to necessarily give up on that man that might be a good loving man. He's just not serving the real purposes that are connecting to you and fostering you and supporting you and, and really creating desire for you. You also have the power to change that. If you're not, you are settling in your setback because you need the guidance on how to change that, that paradigm for you and for him. You've fallen into a relationship paradigm and you can change that by saying, I'm not going to settle for my setback. So I hope this was helpful for you today to really get you thinking, am I settling in my setbacks? Am I allowing my thoughts and feelings and 
past experiences and all my thoughts and feelings about those past experiences cause me to just step back and be in a setback. I don't want you to be there because life is now. Life is now, it's too short, and there is a man out there for you. Uh, people always say, I love this old saying, it might be a, a New York saying that we have, there's a lid for every pot. Isn't that nice? There is. Somewhere out there in the world, even if the pot can't find the lid, there will be one. There will be one that fits and fits well, and you can let go of feeling that you will ever have setbacks again. When you do things in the right way to lead the man to what he needs to feel from your feminine energy, value-based way, and you can be on a new path, on a new journey. Whether that is in dating, again, my one love, online to never ending love, seven simple steps to digital dating success. Just get that and start, or any of my GPS programs or my Lure Him In, Lure Him Back programs, get them at coachpaulagrooms.com slash programs. Check it out, because if you take action, you are already doing that first step to get out of your setback. And I love that, all about it. Until next time. I hope you enjoyed today's video because I like bringing you content that will have you thriving in your love life and succeeding romantically. So be sure to subscribe and hit notifications so you get all my videos as soon as they come out.